हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब दिस इज इंजीनियर रॉय फ्रॉम सेकेंड ईयर सी एस सी एंड टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम कलरफुल स्टोन फ्रॉम योर कोड फोर्सेज ए टू ओ जे लैडर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन सो लेट्स रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो वी हैव There is a sequence of colorful stones. The color of each stone is one of red, green, or blue. You are given a string S. The ith one based character of S represents the ith stone. S represents the ith stone. If the character is R, G, or B, the color is corresponding is red, green, or blue. Okay. Now. Each instructions is one of three types: red, green, or blue. After an instruction C, if Liz is standing on a stone whose colors is C, Liz will move one uh, one stone forward, else she will not move. Means if the color of the stone and the instruction is same, only then it will move one step forward. Otherwise, it will same stay on the same stone. Okay. So now we are given another string t, which is equal to the length of t. That is the instructions, and ith character represents ith instruction. Okay. So what do we have? S is the color string. S is the string of the colors of the stones that is given, and the t, which is the second input, it is the instructions, like which color we have to move after which. This is the set of instructions. So what do we have to find out? we have to calculate the final position after performing all the instructions and print its one based position so one based position means the initial index will be zero and not one like in other arrays because in usually in arrays we start from zero base that is zero index the first is zero but here it's one base so first index will be one so let's go to the logic of the question so here we have two strings s and t S will represent the colors of the stones and T will represent the sequence of instructions. Okay, so the condition is given that if S equal to T means if the stone and the sequence instruction color is same, then it will move forward to the next, and if not, then it won't. So uh, let's see the. So what will be the? How do we solve? Simply, we just have to find out the index of S and T, and if S of uh, index of index of S is equal to index of S is equal to index of T, then simply we will do plus means we will increment the variable, whatever variable we want to take. May we, we may take i, j, or k, anything we like. We will just increment the variable in that case, and then we find out the instruction, the index, or the final index of the stone. Okay, so let us see the first example. The first example S is given R G B, and it is given R R R. T is given R R R. So according to the logic, the first stone color is red and in the instruction the first instruction is also red so s and t are equal so s and t are equal right s and t are equal see so that means we will increment means index will move from 1 to 2 1 to 2 we will move now next we have blue b that is blue and the instruction is red so it is not equal instruction is red so it's not equal so we don't move we stop here third instruction is again red again it's not matching it's not matching so again we will stop here and after that there are no more instructions so our instruction process is completed so what do we do the final position is b only right because we don't move forward because instruction color was different so what is the final index that is we move from 1 to 2 so final index is 2 so final answer will be 2 Answer output will be two. We have two. Okay. Let's check the second example also similarly. In the second example, we have the 
कलर्स ऑफ द स्टोन्स इन द सीक्वेंस दिस आर 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 बी जी बी आर बी बी एंड बी सो द इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट फर्स्ट वी हैव बी राइट बी एंड हियर इट्स आर सो वी डोंट मूव नेक्स्ट अगेन वी हैव बी हियर इट्स आर सो वी अगेन डोंट मूव अगेन द थर्ड वन इज बी इट्स इट इज अगेन आर वी आर स्टिल एट द फर्स्ट वन बिकॉज द कलर वॉज नॉट सेम सो वी डोंट मूव राइट so we don't move from here we are here only third instruction is b so again it will be stuck at r now fourth instruction we have r and here its color is r so it's matching matching so we move to the next that is index 2 index 2 now the fifth instruction is red again it's matching with the second right matching so we successfully move to the next index 3 that is index 3 after that no more further instructions are there so we stop here we stop here so what is the index final it's 3 right so our output should be 3 final index is 3 see it's 3 fine so how do we write the code let's see so in the code we simply declare the two strings the two input strings s and t and we take input we take input of these then we take three variables here because we have to take different uh, increment we have to take different variables int i as usual as you, as we will be using the for loop so we take int i directly here otherwise you can also remove omit int i here and write here we can also write int i equal to 0 anyways so int i for the for loop it will be int i equal to 0 i less than size of the string usually what we write n usually we write n but here since t is a string so we find out the size like this t dot size so and then increment i plus plus for loop sim simple for loop condition now checking the condition statement t equal if t i equal equal to s j index okay J is the index of the first string, the colors that represents the colors. So if these indexes indices are equal, so we simply increment k and simply increment j to move on to the next index. Okay. Now k is the index. Okay. K stands for index, and we will take k equal to one. Obviously not k equal to zero because it is one based index. So in this way we increment and we come out of the for loop and simply we print out k. that is our index the final index after incrementing so in this way we write the code very simple code let's see the solution this the problem our solution see it was accepted so you can check this out if you have any confusion i hope it is clear and yes since you are beginner so try to write down comments in your codes for your own understanding okay that's it thank you